All right, friends, welcome back to another video on building real time messaging platform with Laravel and Liveware. So, in the previous video, we work on displaying the list of contacts based on conversations. So, if I go to conversations table, I have these information uh, related to sender and receiver ID. And I have different IDs, so it may be different uh, for yours. So, don't get confused with these numbers, okay? So, if I go to users table, so let me show you that. And if I search for the user called John, then I have this users which ID is 29 and for me that user is this authenticated user so I'm using that IDs okay so now in this video we'll be working on displaying the messages based on this selected user or based on selected conversation so let's get started so let me go to list uh, conversation and messages.blade.psp file and over here on this link let's do wire click and prevent the default behavior and call the method called view message and we'll be passing the conversation id okay conversation id now let's create this method on our component class so let me go to list conversation and messages.psv file and over here let me create that method public function and that method and we'll be receiving conversation id and over here let's do this selected conversation equals conversation find or fail this conversation id now let's create this public property called selected conversation public selected conversation and we are done right now if I die and dump over here with this selected conversation and let me go over here refresh it and click on this user then we get that conversation right if I click over here we get the different conversations now based on the selected conversation we need to display the messages right so for that uh, let me remove it and let me go to list conversation and messages and let me go over here and this is the div for displaying the messages so uh, let me do for each loop over here so for each selected conversation messages is message right and end for is and we have already defined this relationship called messages so if i go to conversation the PSP model and then we have defined this relationship method uh, where conversation has many messages right now let me uh, save this refresh the page and we are getting that attempt to read property messages on null so over here we are getting this error because we don't have messages uh, for this selected conversation right because selected conversation is empty and if I go to list conversation in messages then over here let's create the mount method public function mount this is similar to the constructor method and on this mount method we can simply do this selected conversation equals we can set the selected conversation as the first conversation we get from here so let me copy this part and paste it over here so instead of get let me call the first method so that we can get the first conversation okay and now we have access to the selected conversation so if I save this and refresh the page we are not getting issue right now if I click on this user we are getting the same message uh, because if I go to list conversation we have the dummy message so let's make this part dynamic so over here instead of you for now let me do message belongs to specific user and name. we have already defined that relationship as well so if i go to message.psp then we have defined this relationship where message belongs to specific user right and if i save this and refresh it we are getting that username right now let's make this part dynamic uh, for this we can do message body and if i refresh this and let me select this user and we are getting this different message right 
if I click this one, we are getting different message. So now we don't know that uh, which one is selected. So let's make this uh, as dynamic as well. So let me go over here. So on the list, uh, we can add one class called BG Warning. If I add that class and refresh it, we get that warning, right? So let's make that class dynamic so that it only applied to the selected user. So for that, let me remove this one and we can simply do if the conversation id equals selected conversation id then we let the class called busy warning otherwise we'll not add any classes so if i refresh it this user is selected if i click over here this user is selected which is perfect right now let me show you by adding another message uh, for this specific user so if we go to messages table uh, we have this uh, messages so it may be different uh, based on your case so have this user id uh, with this message uh, let me copy this one and let me change this to 13 and let me say hello and click on save uh, I have added 13 because on conversation with the ID of 4, we are having the conversation with the sender ID of 29 and receiver ID of 13. So let me refresh it. This one is selected. But if I click over here, we have these two messages. One is from John Doe, which is the authenticated user. And another is this user, which is perfect, right? But we have the same color over here. So let's make that dynamic as well. So for that, let me go over here and this specific class called write. If I remove this class and refresh it, uh, we get this different color and the position as well. It is aligned left and another is aligned right, right? So let's make this class dynamic as well. So for that, we can simply add a condition over here. So if the masses user ID equals authenticated ID, then we can apply the class called write otherwise we'll not do anything let me save this and refresh the page and if i go over here and this is working perfect right this one is the message that we have sent and this is the message sent by this user let's change this avatar as well so for that let me remove this static url and we can simply do message user avatar url let's make this date dynamic as well message created it and we need to change this format so for that we can call the format method format day month hour minute and am and pm right so if i refresh it we get that date if I click over here, we have this different date, right? And one final thing is it is displaying the same user set with this user. If I switch to different user, it is still displaying the same name because that is the static name, right? So let's make that dynamic as well. So over here, we can simply do selected, selected conversation, receiver name. So if I refresh it and we get that username, if I switch to this user, we get that username. If I click over here, we get that username, which is working perfect. So this must for this video. I hope this video was helpful. And in the next video, we'll be working on sending messages from here. So thank you for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel as I'll be uploading the videos like this. So till then, have a great time and I will see you on the next one.